are going to have to step it up. They're without Frida Foreman today. She is out with an illness. So insert into the starting lineup to Mia Sadler. She's had 28 points in her last two games. They hope her shooting comes with her today against this top Stanford defense. And I'm winning another Pac-12 championship. They've done that so many years, year in and year out. And all they have to do today, Mary, is win, and they'll at least have a share of that title. That's exactly right. And that is where they expect themselves to be at the beginning of every single season for Colorado. A great start is so important. And Jones on Jones right away. A miss and a rebound for the Buffs. Look for them to run it. Look for them to be quick. Make a lot of movement on the offensive end. They want to wear out the Stanford team early. They had that national Monday night game against UCLA that was a battle. And then, you know, you got to travel to altitude, all the things. It, it, to your point very early, like the schedule has favored the Buffs in uh, being able to try and get Stanford, I guess, while they're down, so to speak, right now. Of course, they're deep. We know that. And they struggled to score in the first quarter down at Stanford, just eight points in that first quarter. So for, for Colorado, it's certainly on the defensive end, but offensively, they got to get it going. Aggressive defense right there by Aronette Von Ley and Coy Miller on the double team against Brink. There's a look at J.R. Payne, her seventh season as the Buffalo's head coach, and both her and Tara Vanderveer, one of three coaches in the Pac-12, along with Lynn Roberts of Utah, that are up for the Naismith Coach of the Year Award. Such a prestigious honor. Cameron Brink missing a long shot and an offensive board for the Cardinal. Apollo did not play in the first meeting. She had injured the ankle against Utah. Ball tipped, and Brink, Brink was already heading the other way. Thought it was going to be a turnover. Sticks with Stanford. Lapolo from three. And Brink with a hustle, but they're going to call her out of bounds. And to your point, Sadler could have taken that open shot instead, trying to work at the clock a little bit. Sadler with the drive and dish to the corner. Jones no good. And a tip towards Stanford. Warren Betts on the floor early. A nice job by Sherrod. What a hustle. She keeps it in bounds, and Sadler will have it the other way. Nice defense by Hannah Jump to force the U-turn by Sadler. Sherrod missing short and an offensive board. So far, no score, and we're two and a half minutes into the contest. I would say that Colorado's fine with that. Play inside. And she gets the first bucket of the game. You know, that's a big bucket. Against Arizona, those kind of shots were not going down for Quay Miller. Warren Betts with the move. And a miss for the Colorado native. Glad to be home. The freshman who's had such an outstanding season so far with Stanford. Blocked by, by Jones. Nice strong inside presence so far for Colorado. Fran Belivi will be checking in. Wett will be checking in. Beautiful. Wow. Great baseline move. And beautiful pass. Beautiful pass as well. 4 nothing buffs up, and you're right. Substitutes coming in. They're going to rotate them. And grab something, and the ball just ends up with Quay Miller and now Sherrod. Excuse me, Von Ley and Sherrod. Jones wide open underneath, and she gets the roll. She's at four. But man, for Colorado, a big difference between seeds four and two, and there's another foul. And they know who on Sherrod. Kendall Weta driving dish underneath, and nice stuff by Cam Brink. That's what she does best. Just a beautiful job. Runs the floor. Another block by Jones. She's been active defensively. She can feel her time winding down. She'll be honored on Saturday here. The lone senior. There's plenty of seniors for J.R. Payne, but a couple of them look like they're going to come back or haven't decided yet. That ball flying out of bounds and in the hands of Sherrod. She sees Miller, wide open lane, and the late foul call. And that's a great decision by Miller. Don't show the ball because that thing's coming right back at you. You're getting flung into the stands. Yeah, she's got a, a personality that is just magnet for others, but at the same time, when she gets serious, everybody gets serious. Inside. And a miss by Emma Nopu. There's Prechtel with the rebound. Can't get the put back to her Colorado buddy on the other side. And another Stanford offensive rebound. They are taking the shots, Mary, and just can't get them to fall. Here's Sherrod on the other end. And a finish, it's 10-0 Buffs.
0 for 13. That's what the Cardinal are from the field. And that ball's out of bounds on Weta. But they're going to call it off of Haley Jones. Lapolo back in, Brink back in, and Dimitri checking in as well. What a behind her back, stop and pop at the line. <laughs> she gets her on board, why not? There's win for three, got it. What does win do best? Count them up. <laughs> One, two, three, absolutely. There is a minute 16 left in this quarter, and Stanford has not scored. And Haley Jones, if anyone's going to change that score from a donut to at least a number, He's a 75% free throw shooter, and she Ooh. does it. So a minute 14 left on the clock, and that's the very first point for Stanford here in the first corner, and it came off a free throw. That would have been a national story. This is what you were talking about at the top. Like, get into this a little faster, right? Yeah, Sherrod will take the shot. And bring for the board. Can Stanford make a field goal before the end of the quarter? Answer is <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dimitri got it. If that was on your bingo card, you win. And a late foul call, so three seconds to go. So the chess match has commenced as far as foul trouble. Sadler will take the last shot for the Buffs as the quarter expires, and what a big lead. Whatever, Cal, Stanford, it, it's just intense. In 20, it was Kiana Williams hitting that half-court shot, and last year, Stanford survived 13 first-quarter turnovers. And there's a turnover right there. Sadler couldn't get in the hands of Miller, so Stanford will have the first opportunity here. In the second quarter to score, Dimitri had the lone, has the lone field goal for the Cardinal right now. Jones made a couple free throws, and that's how they got to five. Can't get that to roll. And Emma Nopu, that'll go off the backboard. Colorado kids on the floor. I talked to Kendall Weta earlier today. She went to Valor, and of course they played Grandview lots, which is the school Warren Betts went to. She said she was hurt a bunch, but just watching her, I mean, six foot seven, she brings a presence to the court, but she was really impressed with how in college she's developed more of a mid-range game. It's neat when you can follow people you used to compete against in high school and now you're competing against each other at the collegiate level. Nice movement. Wow, Jones is feeling it today. That is a spectacular take. Jump and bounce the ball after she came off the bench. Dimitri missing. And it's got Queen Miller from behind. Oh, Looked like a carry a little bit. Baseline for Weta. She leaves it short, but a whistle. Such a smart player. She has been ranked now for the last five weeks, but they have not lost their underdog mentality. They've had some really big wins against ranked opponents in the Pac-12. The difference for Colorado, though, they can still have their chip on the shoulder. Stanford with 10 offensive boards. They're plus seven in that category. Sherrod thought about it, and now she drives out to the corner. Jones keeps it going around. Plays like, give me a touch. Five on the shot clock. Jones likes her touches so far. And capitalizes. 14-point deficit for the Cardinal. Baseline drive is out of bounds. Whitaker, they actually call a foul on Whitaker. That's a tough call on Whitaker. It looks like she was in the stance just trying to drive her out of bounds, and instead she gets tagged with that third foul. She's wearing those emotions. Like, this is it for her college basketball career. She's like, I've tried to let it all soak in, but she hasn't always been the points contributor, and there, finally, some more points here in the second quarter coming from Hannah Jump, who didn't have any points in her last game. First points of the second quarter here for the Cardinals. They only have two field goals made. And Bonley can't get the roll. Did everything right except have that shot go in. The challenge, the early position. Stanford just two for 22 from the field. I think right now the Stanford ops person is calling a local coffee shop and said, we need a couple tanks of coffee. We need to wake up at halftime. Or get that beet juice going, right? For the altitude, nice move from Haley Jones, and she's just going to stay after it. That's what she does. That's her game, and now she has four. Shot clock 
clock at six. The up and in, no good for Sadler. And nice hustle there, nice hustle back by Erie Off, and she's been all over the floor and her hands all over the ball. Frida Foreman out with an illness today, so she was not in the starting lineup. I'm very excited. <laughs> and Conley finally getting points here in the second quarter on the turn and shoot. Cameron Brink is on the floor. That shot probably doesn't happen. So great job taking advantage. You know the personnel you're going up against. 21-10 right. CU. Haley Jones with the drive. Beautiful. That's what she does. Conley, yep. Giving her the shot. Now she'll take it. Catch and shoot. No roll. We're gonna get Fran Bolivi. Corey three for three on the day. Just really got focused on what she needed to do in the classroom and on the floor, and the results are just right out there. She is so improved. This is the second. Hard to believe she's the only buff who has started every single game this year for J.R. Payne. We haven't had too many switches around the starting lineup, but it's a foul on Sadler on the screen. Board for Stanford. Offensive boards, they've been good at them today. Can they turn them into points? They do behind Hannah Jump. Great job by Fran Bolivi and great movement by Hannah Jump. Jump two for two from three. Von Lay. Good job, Von Lay. How about the pass from Quay Miller? Beautiful connection. Single digit lead. Who knew a low-scoring game could be exciting? <laughs> Very exciting. Crowds into it. Down, down to halftime. 43 seconds to go. Three-point attempt and good for Stanford. So they're getting right back in this. Bazgana with the mate. And the Stanford bench up and fired up. It's Quinn Miller. The turn of shoot, she got stuffed. Levy says, not today. I'm going to get the ball knocked out. She's going to have to shoot it. Now it's going to be a shot clock violation. Ball inbounds, and clock will expire. They had had so their first loss in the month of February, so they were ready for a vengeance today. And for Stanford now, it's about coming out strong in the third quarter, down six. Fran Levy starts the second half. Instead of Kiki Uriafin. Jump out to Jones. Now Brink. The passing catch with two on the shot clock, no whistle. She gets it up in time, but no good. That happened a lot in the first half. Stanford with the shot clock running down, trying to create some offense. Sadly, was an 0 for in the first half. She needs to come out confidently and look to score. Try to pick up those points that Frida will not be able to provide with the uh, illness back at the apartment. Watching the game, just the worst possible experience. Green got stripped away there, and nice save by Sherrod. Just wait till she brings it down, and then go get it. Brink on Quay Miller. She stuffs her on the reverse. So what's Quay thinking there? She wanted the ball. She directed traffic. She's saying, I'm going to get Cam Brink for third personal foul. It's Bonley missing there. Can you see the Brink effect? It's back. It's a huge effect. <laughs> it sure is. His most blocks in Stanford history and the fourth most in Pac-12 history. She's long, she's lean, and she's mean under the... Jones underneath, speaking of mismatch. Sherrod had a hand on it. And look at that. Fran Belibi coming up with a rebound and put back. Beautiful job, just keeping out on that weak side. Anticipate the miss, put it away. We're gonna get Brink for the third. And this is where spacing, patience, 
let the ISO get created. Tastes to you as the upper hand with Brink on the bench, but all of a sudden you insert the bench and it's more size, right? Morton Betts, all six foot seven of her, coming in. One of the deepest and tallest benches around. And there's a big miss from Clay Miller. Finally picks it up, just one on the shot clock though. Sadler puts it up. They're gonna say shot clock violation. She's putting it all together. The key thing for post players, your teammates have to help you with spacing and good passing inside. Jones with the spin move and one. Let's watch an All-American go to work. Here's the spin, here's the help. Just get it up and let the rim and the backboard give you an assist. So they call the jumper good by Jones. The foul is after and the shot. Dimitri with the inbounds. We'll get it back in the hands of Jones. There's an open look for Dimitri from three. Three and on that weak side. Beast on the boards. Kicks it back out to Haley Jones. And a jump. And jump just time. like that, that's the first lead for Stanford coming all the way back in this 25 to 24. It's been a 10-0 run for Stanford going back to the end of the second quarter. One on the shot clock, that's tipped, and it's going to be a violation. Oh, that Fran was... Belibi doing it. I was looking for a dunk. You were ready that for it. I was ready. <laughs> Shot clock. Down to three, Dimitri goes. And Lauren Betts had position for an offensive board, and now it's a fight. Jada Wynn getting in there, and they're gonna call a foul. She's to have a dominant offensive personality. Wide open, Kendall Weta underneath leaves it short. She'll put a little defensive pressure on jump. We talked about scoring droughts as far as Colorado goes and they're in one and they cannot afford droughts Leaving Bolivia wide open What a wide catch. open catch and shoot good finish So the pass comes into bets hard double she swings it beautiful pass for Fran Easy bucket inside Fran with four to add to her four rebounds and a couple of blocks Busted yet to score in the third quarter. Change that by Kendall Weta. Make it easy. Come off that screen. You're open. Take the shot. Stanford still up by one. Inside Lauren Betts. Good inside position and making it look easy off the feed. When the dribble hit half court, Betts was posted up on Quay Miller, and that was the play all along. Strongest conference, top to bottom in the country. It's how important Hannah Jump is to the success of Stanford over the weekend against the LA schools. Huge free throws by Sherrod to stay in this. They're down one to Stanford. Stanford had a 12-0 run to take the lead. And there's a turnover. Von Lee got a hand in. Now she's running the floor. She was looking for the pass. Sherrod almost cut her off, but she'll take the bucket. And I think Aaronette Von Lee will gladly let her. Big, big, gigantic lineup on the floor for Stanford. Under two minutes to go in the third quarter, and there she is, Cameron Brink, and her first point of the game. Welcome to Boulder, Cameron Brink. Took her 28 minutes to get there. She's been on the bench for most of it, and the floater good. She could feel Cameron Brink flying out at her. Down the lane and took it. Can Stanford answer? That has been the last couple minutes of back and forth. Sadler to her left. Fade away, and... Looks like it got tipped. Oh, Sadler struggling. 0 for 6. One of the pressures she might have put on herself today, starting for Frida Foreman. She's had such a productive last couple games for the Buffs. She led them in scoring with 12 points. What a, is not even thinking about helping, just face guarding, hand a jump everywhere she goes. Wide open and just numbers. That's again. Turns into a 4 on 4 game. 40 seconds to go in the quarter. Erin Bonley turns and shoots. She got stuffed. Just a freshman. Ball inbounds. Jada Wynn to Miller. Maybe D 
defense on Miller. And she got another block this time. She takes it and she slowed up. I saw you. I saw I you going ready. for it, Mary. You were ready for the big dunk. Boy, the Levy has really been terrific defensively. Three-point lead for Stanford here. Five seconds. Jump. Betts throws it up and gets it. Uh, Stanford's bench, you'd think they just won the, the Pac-12 tournament title. They are involved. <laughs> Betts, have yourself a quarter. Shot goes up. Betts, again, the seal off. A little bit of a push and throws it up and uses the backboard. Selby Jones is first. That's his opportunity here to build the lead to six for Stanford. And <laughs> she gets the roll. Quite a homecoming. So indeed, they do have their largest lead of the day at the buzzer here in the third quarter, 38 to 30. Ashton Prechtel. And now she's ready because she's worked against the best. Stanford on a 7-0 run to end the third quarter. Final 10 minutes to go here. Stanford can beat the Buffs on the road. They will have at least a share of the Pac-12 regular season title before they head to Utah on Saturday. Sherrod for three gets swatted by all six foot seven of Lauren Betts. This is that big lineup that you were talking about it's, once again. Yeah, just it's ginormous. But you can really see Colorado missing Frida Foreman and just how well she shoots the three, how she helps their movement in the perimeter inside the bets. Impact the perimeter game so much. And there she is, Cameron Brink, when she's on the floor today. She can score, she can defend, she can block. Eight point lead for Stanford, 9-0 run. Sherrod trying to stop it. See, there's just no kick out to Frida Foreman. There's a kick out to Sherrod. The miller Sherrod connection seems to work. A basket they had to have. Now, Colorado, you need to dig in defensively. Line today for Sherrod. There's a steal right there. Can she go coast to coast? She'll just use her speed over that height. A veteran move, a smart move by Sherrod to cut in front of Cameron Brooks. Six on the shot clock. Jones backing it in all the way to the bucket, and she'll miss it. This is the Buffs of 2023. There is no backing down. In the past, they might have folded up. It doesn't happen anymore. Back up top to Jones. She's been quiet here in the second half. Toronto Jones. Feed to Miller. Four on the shot clock. She got double teamed underneath. Oh, right around the foul on Brink. So did the home crowd. Ball bouncing away, and you can see Brink and Jones not on the same page there. That's going <laughs> to induce a timeout from Tara Vanderveer. In fact, Stanford's turned the ball over 13 times. They average 13.2 turnovers per game. And right there, you can just work at the ball inside. That's a better move by Haley Jones. She attacks Dimitri, finds some space. She's double team wide open. Vonley Miller, she's able to... Grab it, so the Miller to Vonley connection. Two man game. Jones on Jones, and there's some defense and some drama, but Brink coming up with the shot. That's a big miss when you're talking about Jalen Sherrod sitting on your bench. She's been so effective in Here, so many different ways. Yeah, here's the drive. She just picks it up, and she's off to the races at the other end, and you can see she's already grimacing. There's inside to Miller, and there's the foul. And somewhere in there. Never good when you take your sock off and your shoe. She's putting them back on. Tough to keep her out of a ball game. Especially when you're already down and free to form it. Out you want. Coy Miller with nine, making her free throws. The eighth time Haley Jones has been fouled. This is good news as Jalen Sherrod checks back in the game. Colorado second team foul. Stanford's got three. Montana Jones. Jones to Brink. Completion. She is eight. Clock winding down under five in the game. This feels like that USC game on Friday night. It does. 
Nice baseline go and pass. No conclusion with the foul call. And most of them are not good. Think about all the free throws you may have made or missed in the past. Not as much time in between there and knocks it down. So Vonley with seven. That's picked off Jones. There's a switch underneath. Vonley picked up. She left it short for Belibi. So free throws are going to be important for Colorado. It's not their strength, but if you want to win a game like this, you must convert. Oh, it does. Another six for seven now from the line today. She's had a lot of opportunities. Making them both. The polo into Jones. Sherrod down to help. She got a ball, a hand on the ball. Jones can't get the roll. Knocked around and Vonley with a rebound. What is defense is just unbelievable on, on a Hannah jump. Sixth rebound for Marinette Von Lane, a very important one. Dimitri on Coy Miller. Lots of trailed here in the fourth quarter. Miller can't get the under around to go. We'll call a foul on Stanford. So Miller's lived at the line today and right back at it. She's one of 10 on the Lisa Leslie watch list. It's the second straight year she's been there. The will get moved down to five come late February. In this fourth quarter, it's money time. And we have tied a game once again. Who will hold on for the win? Break inside to Betts, and there's the hand of Sherrod coming through, and a foul call. And another delayed free throw. Knocks it down. And that's in Pac-12 Freshman of the Week honors just a few weeks ago. We'll get the ball into Kendall Weta. 32 seconds to go in the game. Jones up to Sherrod. She drives to her right. And just easily lays it in. And I am Jalen Sherrod. What a play. Stanford, do you want to win or go to overtime? Seven seconds. And there she is, Haley Jones. Balls on the floor, got tied up with Weta. She throws up the shot with a second left. And we are, in fact, going to overtime. In Boulder, and you know what, Mary? I'm so glad we're going to five more minutes because this has been a ton of fun watching the game within the game. There's been some great matchups. Each team has had their runs. And now we get bonus basketball to decide who's victorious. Again, what's on the line? If Stanford wins, a share of the Pac-12 title. If Colorado wins, that seeding could go up. Postseason seeding could go up, and they're sure not. They're going to call her out of bounds. And Stanford will have Haley Jones lead this offensive possession. Maybe Navarre on the floor for Stanford to start the overtime. Shot clock again. At one, Jones releases. And that's going to be a violation. Graham Levy will check in as well for Stanford. And that just really gets Colorado in this crowd going. And up and over the reaching hands of Cameron Brink. Kendall Jones on Haley Jones. Just beautiful moves from Haley Jones. She has 12. Sherrod in the corner. She'll go baseline. Underneath with the reverse, she gets the whistle. It'll be on Brink. It'll be five on Brink. And that's what we're talking about by Sherrod. Find your angle, be decisive. We played 21 minutes today. Sherrod missing the first. She's the only Pac-12 player to average at least 10 points per game, five assists and two steals. And there's a huge offensive rebound from Von Ley. Good focus. Three minutes to go in overtime. Sherrod on the floor. Miller with the miss. And Jones will bring it down for Stanford. That's a tough couple of opportunities there. Colorado comes up empty. Nice feed. How beautiful is the finish for Hannah Jump? Didn't get one the whole game. Got one there. Back door. 
Jones the jump. The Cardinal back up by two. Inside, Miller willing it. Miller had all free throw points in the fourth quarter. Finally gets a bucket on the floor. Jones with a miss. The other Jones for the box of the board. Colorado's got to get organized a little more quickly. Turn to Jones in the right wing. They're going to call an off ball. And living large. I said it was a rivalry at the top of the show. And boy, is it. I'm just assuming this one's going to be decided in single digits here. Lauren Betts on Vonley. She lays it in. We're putting a lot of confidence in Lauren Betts and delivers. Sherrod throws it up. Nowhere near the rim. There's a whistle. Vonley in double figure. She has 10 now. Getting a lot of props to Aaronette Vonley, by the way. One foul in the game. The crowd rises again. Huge. Buffs up by two. Tayana Jones, Oliver Haley Jones. Squeezing Haley Jones every time she puts it on the floor. Haley has a Colorado connection. That one wasn't even close. Jones, 75% free throw shooter. And misses both of them. Huge rebound coming. And a foul call. She looks like Coach Prime out there. <laughs> Stanford down by two. And another missed free throw. That's three in a row they missed. Four. And make it four in a row. A fight for the ball. They're going to call a foul. They are. The whole way across the court. Stanford just five for nine from the line. She finally gets one to rattle in, make it six for ten. Fourteen points for Jones now, and we're all tied up again. I think you guys are going to have a ton of fun in Vegas for the Pac-12 tournament the way things have ended this season. What I'll take the ball for the buffs. Sherrod has three range. She's looking for win. Set the top screen. with win. She takes it all the way in. Kicks it in nicely. High off the glass. Stanford gonna call the timeout. But more than that, when her team needed something big, she delivered. Jones doing star jacks on the inbounds. Stanford does get it in. 25 seconds on the shot clock, 38 seconds on the game clock now. Haley Jones backing. Tayana Jones down in the bucket. Shiraz asking the fans to get on their feet. She was doing a traveling motion. She's talking back and forth. She wants them up. And for Haley Jones, she missed two big free throws earlier. Biggest free throw here, and she nails it. 17 points and a one point difference. Iriafa and Jones on Sherrod, and they're going to call a foul. Stanford has one timeout left. Back to a tied game. And buffs back with the nice roll. No timeout from Stanford. 25 seconds to go in overtime. Feeding it inside to Lauren Betts. Not near the rim. And a fight for the ball. It's with Weta. Stanford's going to have to foul here. And they do on Sherrod. Boy, they are lucky they were able to catch enough of Sherrod to get that foul called. All above her average today. Average is 10.6 points a game, missing the free throw. Most important thing for Stanford, they must box out. If it's a miss, you've got to have possession. And there it is, the box out, possession, and the timeout with 5.9 seconds. Haley Jones will get the ball in. All the way underneath to Betts. A hand on it for Miller, no whistle, and there is the whistle. Wow. What a play call. Gutsy moment for the freshman in her hometown. She went to Grandview High School. 3.8 seconds on the clock. Bet 
Roberts misses the second, stays a tied game. Quay Miller takes a couple dribbles, lets time expire, and we will head from the field for the box. No Cameron Brink, she has already fouled out. Believe he has four. Kayana Jones has four for Colorado. And you wonder about fatigue for Stanford. I know they've got a, a deep bench, but Haley Jones has played massive minutes. Hannah Jump, massive minutes. Quay Miller back out to Sherrod. Stanford had the night game against UCLA on Monday. No practice Tuesday. Travel day. Haley Jones has played 45 minutes this afternoon. Hannah Jump, 46. He will score first in double overtime. Jump for three. In and out. Bodies flying in, and the black jersey's coming up with it. How about the finish for the kid from Centennial? 62-60 Stanford. Sherrod with the drive. Underneath to Jones, she can't handle it. A jump ball from the Jones. There's a men's game soon, and who knows when that's gonna happen. Who knows, and at this point, I don't think anyone cares on the floor. They have been playing some fantastic basketball. Gonna get Jones with a hand check, and you can see the emotion. Weighing on her heavy, her second to last home game. Quay Miller will see the return of them. I know Charlotte Whitaker will be coming back. Haley Jones knocks down the second. Sherrod out to win. They'll feed Aaronette Von Ley. Working the perimeter. Quay Miller short on the three. Well, she was due for a three, wasn't she? It was a good look. Eight for five from three point range. She struggled. To make her field goal today, just three for 16. Just 17 points. Most of those coming from the free throw line. Friends, like, please come get the ball. He had a wide open look, but not a shot. Jones pulls up and. But did you see how much more space she had? Wynn just could not hang with her. Sherrod with the speed. She'll draw the foul for the last six games now. Haley Jones has scored at least 18 points. She has 20 in the contest today. Sherrod gets the roll. So we're in foul trouble on the floor. Haley has four. Levy has four. Jones had an open lane and trying to play a little catch up. Uh, she just catches her foot on Haley Jones and turns that right ankle. Jones knocks it down for 21. Eight of 11. We've seen 11 lead changes, nine ties in this game. Shout out to Weta. That's going to go off of her and very frustrated. Will be Jada Weta. Two great, great players. What a aggressive defense after Jones picked the ball up. Great to get it over, yeah. Out. To the corner. Three ball, good. Hit the pressure release valve. That would be you, Hannah Jump. Stanford has made more field goals here in the double overtime than they did in the entire first half. They had just six field goals made to the seven they've made here. Got to get some shots up. Quinn Miller will drive. She'll pull it up and way short. Jones will come up with it. 45 seconds to go. And the Buffs will foul. Now this is what you expect from your All-American. Brink sits. But how about the job of Lauren Betts? 29 minutes. 14 points. 8 rebounds. 5 of them offensive. One of drives. Pulls out to Sherrod. Fake the shot. And a miss. Stanford with the board and the foul. What a take it down for the buffs. She'll pop a three. 
no good. And Stanford will take it over inside. And now just an easy bucket for Erie Offen. Well, when you look at this final score, you will have no idea of the battle it was here in Boulder. Huge battle for the visitors who have been road tested the last couple of weeks in the Pac-12. And they have one more test coming.